There is another way that we can classify igneous rocks, and this is based on where they form. So the question comes up of where could igneous rocks form? Being that they're made from magma or lava, the question we have to ask is, where are magma and lava cooling? The two places we're going to see magma and lava cooling are either inside of the earth, under the ground, or on the surface. If magma forms underneath the ground, we refer to it as being intrusive igneous rock. Intrusive igneous rock is rock that forms inside of the earth. Real easy to remember that intrusive forms inside the earth. The earth acts like kind of insulation or a warm blanket around the magma. And because it's nice and warm inside of the earth, it's going to cool very slowly. This is going to give the magma more time to form larger and larger crystals and give the rocks a coarse grain size. So in those rocks that we saw earlier that had a coarse grain size, this is why. They have a coarse grain size because they have cooled slowly inside of the earth. If lava forms on the surface of the earth, we would then refer to it as being extrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rock is going to be exposed to the atmosphere. This means that it's going to be exposed to things like water and air and weather. When lava is exposed to these things, it's going to cause it to cool much more quickly. And if you cool this magma or lava quickly, it's going to not give the magma enough time to form larger crystals. So extrusive rocks, one characteristic of them is that they have a fine grain size. So the rocks that we saw earlier that had a fine grain size did so because of being cooled very quickly. Some examples of intrusive igneous rocks would be granite and gabbro. As you can see, their grain sizes are larger, meaning they have a coarse grain. This because they formed much more slowly and were given time to form larger crystals. Whereas with extrusive igneous rocks, like rhyolite and basalt, they cooled very quickly, giving very little time for those crystal grains to form, giving us rocks that we say have a fine grain. There is one other type of extrusive igneous rock that is important to note. This is what is called obsidian. Obsidian is formed when lava is shot out of a volcano and cools almost instantly. Um, you can see in this picture of obsidian that it has a very glass-like look to it. It's actually referred to as a volcanic glass. Um, this is because obsidian cools so quickly that no grains can form. This means that we wouldn't refer to obsidian as being fine-grained, but more so as being no-grained. So what we end up with is yet another way to classify and identify igneous rocks, now based on the location which they form, which in turn affects how big or small the crystals are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in class.